Hello, I'm Alex James. Welcome to the first official gameplay deep dive of EA Sports F1 24, where we'll introduce the game-changing upgrades we've made to enhance the player's driving experience. The suspension of a Formula One car defines its handling characteristics, and in F1 24, we've built on our previous systems to better reflect real-world behavior. Car just wants to rotate so much more than I'm used to. But it's awesome. Feels like you've got a lot more control of it. The all-new EA Sports Dynamic Handling simulates the experience felt in real F1 cars, changing how the car performs while under different steering conditions. The car is more predictable. I like that a lot. But it's also more challenging, because now you also need to think about the weight of the car, and you cannot just send it. The spring and damper forces have also been revised, adding a realistic feel of weight distribution when the car is under different loads. This means players have more options when tuning their setups, and more refined control while racing. These updates to the suspension model are among the most significant we've made in the series. Working gave quite a lot of time because it was definitely the, the exit of corners. You can get your foot down if you're on the right gear a lot earlier. We've made several changes to tyre wear and simulation physics, giving players a more realistic and predictable experience. An all-new thermal model provides an accurate representation on the effects heat can have on tyre grip and how this impacts overall car performance. Differences in handling. At high speed, I've got all the grip in the world, but at low speed, I'm fighting to hold on. A smooth driver in clean air will see their tyres last longer than one who is pushing the car to the limits in the dirty air of the car ahead. Try to push here, build up a bit of speed. There's plenty of grip. I'm nowhere near the limit of the car right now. We're also adding a more realistic feel when driving in variable conditions. The track surface provides more driver feedback meaning you can use it to your advantage to maximise performance. Cool your tyres by driving off the racing line and prevent them from overheating in wet conditions. The car still has a lot of grip, maybe even more than uh, we are used to, and it's very pointy, so it turns in how you want. In addition to revolutionary tyre and suspension updates, we've reworked the car's aerodynamics to add a new layer of realism. We've reworked the slipstreaming model using computational fluid dynamics, a virtual wind tunnel. This gives a more accurate effect on the forces being put through the car. When you follow another driver, you'll not only experience greater acceleration due to the reduced air resistance, but you'll also feel a reduction in grip as a result of the turbulent air. We've also improved the DRS, or Drag Reduction System, a crucial tool used for overtaking. It performs differently on a per-car and per-track basis, meaning a car with a broader rear wing may benefit more from DRS due to increased drag. F124 also reflects the official team's characteristics, meaning a car designed around straight-line speed, such as the Williams, will perform better at Monza than at Monaco. We've improved aerodynamic simulation through changes to the chassis and floor profiles. Experienced players will be able to utilize ride height and performance metrics through in-game telemetry to customize setups for each circuit. The internals of the cars in F124 have been improved too. Starting with the power unit, we've redesigned how energy is harvested, allowing the driver to control energy gain in real time. Improved throttle maps mean that players can sequentially request more power. This reduces battery wastage and creates opportunities for more advanced strategies that players can deploy mid-race. Reworks to the overtake function also improve straight-line speed performance and energy usage. For example, drivers can derate the power delivery by lifting and coasting at the end of a straight, allowing them to save more energy for deployment later on. Whereas that detail was quite hard to, uh, to pick up on F1 23, 24, game changer. We're pleased to be bringing back a fan favourite feature. ERS modes can once again be changed in all sessions from your multi-function display, 
meaning you can activate hot lap or overtake modes for those clutch moments where you put everything on the line for glory. Pre-order EA Sports F124 and unlock 2024 liveries in F123, an exclusive early access content.